scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The knowledge of God is powerful. The knowledge of God has monetary value. The knowledge of God is valuable. There are things if you know about God, it will make you know other things about Satan. One of the greatest revelations about Satan is that he, it's not just that he is defeated, is that Satan can be tired. That's a very powerful revelation. Because people faint when they are tired. A man can be defeated and still stubbornly try to lay claims. That's what Satan does. But there is a system that provides weariness to the point that he will even flee. It's a system of resistance. The Bible says resist the devil. You need to know what that resisting is. That there is something a man can do to the devil and you watch him, he watches you and goes. Resist the devil and he will flee. Is, is God speaking to someone tonight? Because we need to come out of this conference full of faith and convictions. Some of you need to run and go back home and say, this is it. I, I wrote my prayer points and edited some out of unbelief. I'm adding them back. I'm adding them back and I'm reducing the time for their manifestation. Because something about the knowledge of God has entered your spirit. Look at what happened to people in the Bible every time they had dimensions of encounters with God. It changed their perspective. Ah, look at David for God's sake. Look at David. Look at David standing before Goliath. How can a little teenager watch very strong veterans, military veterans, and this young boy comes to serve food and hears a beast roaring, six fingers and six toes, and David laughs. He says, God, I know something about you that can throw this man. And then he went to Saul. He told his brothers, the brothers said, return home before we beat the living daylight out of you. And then he met Saul. Saul only asked a question. What tribe and what family are you coming from? And then he allowed him. Gave him spares. And he said, no, no, no. I wasn't trained with this formula. The God I know does not need all of these things. David is standing before Goliath. Remember, you are intelligent. When David stands before Goliath, you expect him to shake. And David is, David is just imagining his testimony. He was so sure. He said, what will be my reward first? They said, one, you will marry the king's daughter. I mean, what a joy. Who doesn't want that kind of stress taken off you? The stress of call, text, will you marry me? Automatically, in one sweep. Please sit down. Number two, your family will be exempted from tax. Number three, you will be rewarded. David said, let's go. And he stood before Goliath. Goliath felt insulted. He said, I know I will kill you, but am I a dog? Israel, is this your best? You, you can't even respect me. And David said, you keep watching. You come to me with your bows and your spears, but I come to you in a name. I come to you in a name. Let me tell you, there was a revelation 
that David knew. James 2.26 that anybody without a spirit backing it is dead. David knew that. That a body is only alive based on the spirit that backs it. The size of the body does not matter. When a body without a spirit stands before you, it's as good as dead. And David looked and said, there is nothing backing this man. Let's stand. I can go. This is cheap victory. And then he told him, he said, Mister, let me even tell you how I'm going to kill you. Number one, you see this link is going to hit your head, then you'll be on the ground, and then I will use your own sword, cut off your head, and then I will lift it up. And Goliath said, I see. I can imagine God in heaven saying, Who is this? Who is this young boy? Putting pressure on my integrity. Listen. I believe, I believe. Now, the Bible does not say it, but I believe. No matter what direction that stone touched Goliath, he still would have died. It wasn't about the accuracy of the forehead, any part of him. Goliath was already dead. Hallelujah. And Goliath falls to the ground. And that becomes great victory. Your destiny is at the mercy of a dimension of God you know. That's why it matters which man of God introduces God to you. And it matters what he tells you about God. For many of us, we have come from a background, well-meaning backgrounds, but we have um, erroneously been taught certain things about God. I know that God is love. He doesn't just have it. He is love. That dimension is a powerful dimension. Because that is, that is the basis of true freedom. So it gives you the opportunity to replace perfection with sincerity. That in the dealings of God with men, when he says men should be perfect, it does not mean flawless. He means mature in understanding. The love of God is a system that grants you access to enjoy liberty working with him. It's not, it's not a basis for licentiousness, but it takes away, it takes away the mentality of an angry boss waiting for you to default. The love of God. What do you know about God? And who taught you what you know about God? And what is the result in the life of that teacher? There is something you can learn about God. There is something you can learn about God, man of God. Hi. That will supply such a dimension of the anointing. Let me tell you this. I do not believe there is any mortal man on earth that can take my life. It's true. Now, you, you don't have to believe it. I'm just sharing with you. Sorry if I sound arrogant. It's true. You need to know the things that have happened in my life to know why I'm saying what I'm saying. Mm -mm. The same way you see Donald Trump just walking without security. You try to shoot him and see what happens. Use anything, whether a gun or a missile. The military people are not standing there with guns, but you use your initiative to quickly shoot him. And that's when you will know that all you see is not all there is. Number two, I, I believe God loves me. And I truly believe, I, I, I hope I'm right. But forgive me. I believe that God loves me unfairly. Unfairly there, not because he is unfair, but the extent is as if he doesn't love any other person like that it's true look at my life so when your enemies are angry have a heart for them don't hate them understand with them who will not be angry looking at such a life like this you see that revelation sponsors love you too should be in their position and know it's not easy to see a man that god blesses anyhow anything about your life blesses you what kind of a life is that 
Because I have learned that he's a God that can make all things work together for the good of them that love him and those who are the called according to his purpose. Are you getting what I'm sharing with you tonight? Please learn these things. I'm doing something to your mind. You will walk out of this meeting with confidence, knowing that I know something about God. When a guy looks at you and you say you are not fine enough, you say, Lord, thank you for taking such an irresponsible boy out of my life. I, I cannot imagine living with someone with such a deconstructed revelation about me. No. Not that you go back and look at yourself in the mirror and say, is it really true? Ha, ha, you mean I'm like this? No. God who did not hide his jealousy for you, his love. Do you know what it means for someone to be in the position of God to come down and say, I love you. You say, Lord, I don't love you. You say, I will wait. What is more ego stinging than that? I will wait for you till you come to me. Then some guy somewhere comes to make your life miserable in the name of love. No, sir. I believe as a man of God that when God empowers you, nobody can bring you down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when you have this mindset, you expect to be accepted everywhere. Everywhere. When you hear them say they want to choose 10 people, you start smiling and pray for the remaining nine. It's, it's not pride. It's not pride. It's not pride. It's true. Listen, it is important who construct your belief system. It matters how it is constructed. It matters what about God you are taught. Please listen carefully. Many of us come from many backgrounds just like me. And there are many propositions about God that may be sociologically right. Listen carefully. It may even be from a well-meaning leader, pastor, whatever it is. And now that God has brought you to a very flourishing assembly like this, you must allow yourself to be reoriented. That God gives you another perspective of himself. You will never be able to walk in the anointing if there are some things about God you don't know. I do not believe that any man can meet me and actually make contact with me and his life be remains the same it's impossible i don't believe it i have indoctrinated myself by the spirit to know i am a blessing are we together now yes sir carry that mentality and let somebody sow a seed into your life and watch what happens to him even you you will be surprised and say you mean i'm disanointed what did you say happened you will now sow a seed to your own self to receive that testimony. There's a lot of weakness in the body. A lot of weakness. Spiritual weakness. Mental weakness as a result of something about God that we have been told. If God decides to kill everybody on earth, I'll be the last to die. I know that. Are we together? The anointing, listen. The anointing does not just function vaguely. It depends on these kinds of revelation. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. Because there is a force. God backs him. Hi. Carry this mindset as a minister. And let me see who closes the door of ministry. Where will it come from? Where will it come from? You produce an album and it does not get everywhere. What stopped it? The 
there is a positive entitlement mentality you need to carry to take your portion in this life i don't walk in life as if i'm at the mercy of anybody no sir no sir no sir don't sit down wishing to be someone else no because there is something you know about god god has spoken great things man of god know this god know this god stand on the pulpit and let that god back you and you watch the wonder that happens in your church in one month not two one month one month Apostle, I don't know where my school fees will come from as it is right now. I, I don't even know. I agree with you. I'm not inhuman. I agree with you. But let me tell you something. Where did the raven come from that fed Elijah? Is it not in your Bible? Please, let's look at this. Is either we are lying or this thing is true. It may take time, I know. But if it is God, ba. listen some of you are seated here now you don't even know it's like an immersion happening to you you may not know what is smearing on you you will step out of this place and see things begin to change in your life and then you know listen 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 let me tell you how god makes men blessings he makes men blessings by anointing them you are not a blessing if you are not anointed it's true So someone's life is about to be destroyed and you just pass the person. You brought an atmosphere that prolongs his life. He does not even know that's what happened to him. You brought life and ministered to the person. Not formally. You carried an atmosphere that cancelled what would have destroyed him and his family. And he just knows that someone came to buy a bottle of water in this shop. I don't know who. From the time he dropped his hundred naira customers have come because you brought your atmosphere this is what i believe this is what i believe i know there is a god that sits in heaven i know that god can arise and judge the works of darkness i know that I know that when God decides to lift me, let me tell you, there are enough men to use. If you refuse, you will find another one. I know this. Everywhere I travel, I walk as if my estate is there. I expect something to come from that city. HICC, listen, let me tell you. If you carry this mentality, February will not finish before you start crying for joy. And say, what is, what is happening? What is this? You will come and meet your pastor and say, sir, I don't know what happened. Ah. I come from the north and humanly speaking, there is a lot of disadvantage where we come from. You know, I didn't have the privilege of any family to no leverage at all but when god decides to lift you i i said it during the pastor's conference when god points his jealousy at you you will marvel and wonder at what your life becomes and you see when people begin to make all those noise you know that this is the doing of god and like an usher you can say god you are the one who deserves all the glory and all the honor Someone needs to know something about God tonight. Somebody needs to know, like Sinatra will say that he's a way maker. Listen, listen, listen. For you to understand what a way maker is, you have to look at Julius Berger when they are constructing a road. There are times that all you see is just a mountain and they smile and say, this is where the road will start from. And it, they, are, they are pointing at a mountain and they are already describing the dimensions of the road. And then they bring some high-powered gadgets and blow up that mountain and construct roads. So when you say God is a way maker, 
he looks at your life and says, this mess, this is where the miracle comes out from. Then it will connect to this one. The Lord is imparting faith in somebody so that you will believe. I came to challenge you. I believe God. I believe God. Apostle, I've stayed 10 years without admission. And then you will graduate and receive the salary of a 10-year graduate. No! In God's economy, time is under his care. He can manipulate it anyhow. Listen, that sense of regret, that sense of losing, take it out of your life. Take it out of your life. Take it far out of your life. Apostle, I would have been in ministry and I would have done this. There are still 50 members in my church. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. God is able to lift you. Listen, let me speak to someone here who is struggling to get established. Can I tell you this? reduce the amount of time you are running around trying to look for human connections no man moves until god moves them go to the god that moves men and say lord who is rising oh connect me to that person apostle i need land i've raised one million who told you you must buy it You, you see the unbelief I'm trying to kick out now. Because you too, you see, you've caught yourself disbelieving what I've said. Yet you are in a land where unbelievers have, they believe. Please. Shalaku Have you not read that this God gives us daily benefits? You have received your salary, but where is the benefit? You received your salary from your boss. Where is the one that came from God? I should see the difference between your salary and the one that came from heaven. Listen, the person talking to you is not a stupid person. I'm a leader. I'm not foolish. I know what I'm saying. I'm stretching your faith to believe God. To know that this God is not what many people have said he is. God is a mighty God. Listen, 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 listen. Do you really believe that you will come and stay under this atmosphere and just share the grace and leave? I don't know the God you serve, but the God that came with me tonight in this meeting will so shift your life in a way that it will surprise you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the God that we serve. This is the God of heaven. Allow him to start calling your helpers in Lagos and you will be surprised. Allow him to arise as the mighty God that he is. Listen, when you know him, you must also know his power. Listen, God's power is his version of money. If I give you 10 naira, I've given you a possibility that is 10 naira worth. So when you say, God, I need to buy water, he gives you power. Go and convert it. Use it to buy water. On your way to buying the water, you will find somebody who is sick. You will pray for him and he will give you 1 million. God will say, that's the amount I gave you. The power equivalent just to buy water. One of the things that must happen to you tonight is you must be drenched in the anointing in a new way. Like, like rain pours on someone so that when you step out of here, God will bring ease to your life to take away this hardship so that you can have the time and the focus for the gospel and the things of the kingdom. Insist that this is the year the word of God will prevail over your life. Insist that nothing dies within your vicinity insist insist 
man of God insists that this is the year you will see the move of the spirit in your hand that this is the season that if at all you are invited for any meeting it will be an effulgence of glory in a strange dimension insist that this is the year helpers will rise in strange ways insist that nothing you start this year will hang over to next year it must finish within the same year isaac sowed in that year he reaped in that same year not next year listen listen 11 months is too long for god to change your life you have to believe this but the people give us that scripture again i just sense the spirit of prayer there are many other things i'll talk about but i don't know proverbs 24 let's go to proverbs 24 and verse 10 we are going to pray the bible says if you faint in the day of adversity what happened the strength that knowing god supplies when you know god even in the days of adversity you will stand strong and stand tall many people listen many people chicken out of life and fall in the midst of challenges because there are gaps in our knowledge of god job though he slay me yet will i trust him all the days of my appointed time i will wait he didn't say perhaps my change comes until i know it's a guarantee it will come and the bible tells us in chapter 42 and verse 10 that when job prayed for his friends god restored his fortune give it to us god began to talk to people the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends and the lord gave job twice how many how did that happen next verse let me show you how it happened it says then came there unto him all his brethren where were they before and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before so they were still alive but something took them away from him now an anointing brought them back and the bible says and he did eat bread with them and they bemoaned him and verse 12 they comforted him over this thing and every man also gave him talk to me a piece of money how many men gave him say every now that's a realm where every man blesses you not your relative so every man no wonder his his favor accelerated him so fast every man imagine every man in this place blessing you even if it's 10 10 naira your life will not be the same the bible didn't say every man blessed him once i told you favor is not favor until it is continuous if it happens only once it is breakthrough that's not favor true favor must be repeated again hallelujah ephesians 6 verse 10 finally my brethren be strong in the lord prophesy to someone say be strong yes this is not the time to be weak speak to someone again be strong yes i know you have rent issues but be strong be strong be strong i know you're feeling an, a pain in your body be strong i know something has i mean all kinds of tragedies have happened in recent time but be strong be strong be strong in the lord and in the power of his might hold on it's not enough to be strong in the lord you are also strong in his ability the power of his might be strong in the lord and in the power of his might if we can have amplified i think i remember what amplify says draw your strength from him something like that that you should be strong in the lord amplified says that you draw your strength in fact from your union with him. okay 
Is that something like that? Yes, draw your strength from him. That strength, which, okay, be empowered through your union with him. That's right. Draw your strength from him. That strength, which is boundless might, provides. Your union with him, your knowledge, you can draw strength. It's true that Jesus died, but was it forever? So when you go down, is it forever? It's, it, no, 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 no. Yes, I know he died. But while they were discussing his death, he had resurrected. Just like others are talking about what happened yesterday. They don't know you are in a meeting now. Receiving an anointing that will shift you. They are discussing what happened in November. Not knowing you are in the presence of God. About to contact an anointing and a grace that will change your life. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. No. That you saw me fall does not mean I will remain on the ground. I want you to believe that you are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here turning lives around. I worship you. Waymaker say, Miracle walk, promise keep, light in the darkness. That is who you are. Prophesy it with understanding in your spirit. Waymaker, miracle walk, promise keep, light in the darkness. Who you that are? Who One more time, way 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 I went for the meeting like you commanded. I organized the crusade. But there was something I didn't know about you. I didn't see your power flow. But here at One Press 2019, an anointing, a grace coming upon your life that will shift your ministry. The next time you go for that program, like Peter, you cast your net and you will catch such a harvest. I like you to open your mouth and blast in tongues. Shake off the unbelief. Shake off the unbelief. Shake off the unbelief. Outside, are you praying? Our online community, pray. in the name of Jesus from glory to glory Acts chapter 17 and verse 6 Acts chapter 17 and verse 6 we are praying tonight. Mm. Acts chapter 17 and verse 6. Look up please. This was the testimony of men who knew God. This was a, a summary of their exploits. It says when they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren to the rulers of the city crying these that have turned the world upside down. There are a group of people that turned the world, turned their community. Years ago, I saw this scripture and I said I must be part of this list. Mm. 
do not underestimate what the power of the Holy Ghost can do in the life of an individual. These are they that have turned the world in business. That someone is receiving an anointing here and you will do business in a way that will surprise you. Listen, I want you to believe it. Don't, don't mind that talk of unbelief you hear around you. Listen, listen, listen. Please listen to me. There is no room for anybody in life. Everybody makes his room. You create your space. There is no vacancy anywhere. It is the anointing that pushes and creates your own space for you. They dug a well, Jacob, and then they covered it. Dug another one, they covered it. He dug the third one and they left him and he called it Rehoboth. God has given me my own space. There's no vacancy anywhere in Lagos. It's the anointing that will create space for you, for your company, for your church. You see, let me tell you, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. I'm about to pray for you. Some, something must shift. I came tonight angry in my spirit. Abba! Do you believe what I've been sharing? Please, if you, are, if you are a man of God here, I want you to get angry. Get angry in your spirit and tell yourself, no, this is it. This is it. This is it. I, I've, 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 I've come to that moment. Either I contact this thing for real. I, I, I can't be acting as if they are healed or not healed. I, I'm not sure. As if they were blessed or not blessed. No, no. Were you healed? Well, I'm, I'm sure. I, I think I... No! Are you ready to pray? I'd like you in one minute to pray and cry and say, Lord, the grace that will validate my knowing you, let it come upon me this night. There is a grace. There is a grace. There must be an evidence to my knowing you. But the people that do know their God but the people that have encountered their God but the people that have a revelation of their God Shabarakato Sadaka Shalakuta Embrakato Sabaranda Shalako Sadakata Hesia Karako Sabando Breteko Shaliakata Breskata HICC, pray. Pray. Outside, pray. All those connecting online, pray. You are about to contact a grace that will surprise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying. I'd like you to pray and say, Who art thou mountain that stands before Zerubbabel? No one will do the prayer for you. Like David, I'd like you to stand before that Goliath and say, I come against you in 2019. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, lift your voice, challenge every mountain, decree and declare, decree and declare. Here a shalakato seketebash. Every man.
mountain every mountain every mountain Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome hey, Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome One more time Every high thing must come down. Every struggle shall be broken. You wear the fingers round. You overcome. Hallelujah. You overcome. Listen. Last prayer point. Every dimension you know by the spirit that you need to excel this year, I'd like you to call it into your life right now. Declare, I need favor. I call it forth. Makabarato seketele kata. I call for favor. I call for speed. Are you praying? Yeah. Yeah. I call it for. In the name of Jesus, I call it for. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I call for the grace for influence. I call for the grace for increase. I call for the grace for explosion. I call for the grace for territorial dominion. Hey, hey. Hey. hallelujah hallelujah let me add one more prayer point listen please listen everybody listen to me the bible says that there were ten virgins listen carefully and at the end of the story only five of them got to meet the groom it was the delay of the bridegroom that frustrated the five if the bridegroom came early all ten will meet him you are going to prophesy speed delay has side effects all of them started together but the bridegroom did not come early and it affected five the same way if your job does not come early it may lead you into something the bible said lead us not into temptation one of the ways you lead us not is by bringing the result fast lord let the child come fast let the open doors come fast speed 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 open your mouth and call forth speed that the road of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity establish me fast oh god
Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick now. We'll do it very fast. But I want to pray for you now. I prayed a prayer in the morning during the pastor's session that the Lord is asking me to repeat right now. There is a grace for speed. Listen, listen, please listen. Hmm. There is an exact grace that brings speed in a life. That you do so much within a short time. I want to pray this prayer now and I want you to please listen. Those outside by the roadside, just listen. Every time I pray this prayer and the power of God comes upon people, that anointing makes them to begin to run physically, not on their own, by the Spirit. And that's why I'm, pray I'm telling you now so that you be careful, so that you don't enjoy yourselves. Please, whether you're an usher or not, when someone begins to run like that, you just guide them and help them. But let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, that if this grace touches you, you will sit back and watch in wonder. I have been surprised myself. It's a grace. It's a grace. Truly, there is a grace like that. Right now, in the name of Jesus, ha, something is already happening here. At the count of three, I want to stretch my hands. And I see that grace, my God, like, like an inferno. That grace will shift you and give you such speed in your life. At the count of three, one, two, get ready now. HIC, HICC, three, take the grace for speed. Take that grace now. I release that grace. Speed, help them. Help them. Speed. That you will run like Elijah and overtake the chariots of Ahab. Those in ministry, receive speed. Help them, help them, help them. Grace, speed, 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 speed. I prophesy. I decree and declare speed help this man help that man help that man help that man please I speak speed I command it in your life in your destiny in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you I'm seeing a grace, a strange grace for visions, visions and encounters. And I'm seeing a number 43, 43 people in this congregation. Where are they, oh God? I stretch my hands now. I release you into a prophetic realm of strange visions. Receive that grace now, now, now. Receive that grace now. I was by the river Sheba. Then I saw the visions of God. I prophesy, I decree and declare. Step into that dimension. Visions, visions by the Spirit. Visions by the Spirit. It's called a wine press. It's time for your destiny to change. It's time for something to be shifted in your life. Just guide that man. Just, just leave him there. My friend, look at me. Lift your hands. This young man, look at me. I'm seeing, just leave him. I'm seeing, don't bring him. He doesn't have to come out. We don't have the time. The Lord is telling me that you are going to step into a strange teaching ministry. I stretch my hands to you right now. Let the grace that launches men to that dimension come upon you now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We don't have all the time. 
but listen some things must shift right now before I pray for the sick we want to shift some things here that the men in this church become mighty men like David my friend lift your hands the spirit of wisdom is coming upon you and the Lord is saying I should tell you that between now to May I see the month of May the Lord is going to shift you to a new dimension receive that grace right now I release that anointing upon you will never never be the same never be the same the spirit of grace that you step into a supernatural dimension I'm seeing someone you are into visuals like production you produce something you have been trying to negotiate a contract with uh, I don't know what company I'm seeing around the island and this thing has refused to work next month February I'm seeing the people call you in the name of Jesus Christ how then do you know that God is there sir I don't know you but the Lord is saying to take hardship away from your life this man I don't know are you a member of this church sir you're a member of this church do you believe that if I pray for you things will change I want to pray for you God will surprise you you are a good man but Kai, no it's not it's not a blessing mm -mm, mm -mm. God is bringing strange speed madam this woman come look at me do you believe that God can shift you to a new level not just financially I stretch my hands to you in the name of Jesus I shift you into that realm in the spirit a realm of strange favor you will see the hand of God in a supernatural dimension in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is a gentleman we may not have all that time to prophesy I want to pray for the sick right now but there is a gentleman I see a very mighty grace coming and hold on hold on the power of God will come on that gentleman it will be a loud shout and manifestation please wherever he is just carry him and bring him to the front here that's not the person That's the man. Bring him. Mighty God. Mighty God. The Lord says he's bringing you into a new dimension in the spirit. You may look weak, but he's putting his anointing upon you. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, you will take his healing power to nations. You will take his healing power to nations. I stretch my hands upon you and I decree in the name of Jesus, let that dimension be activated from within you. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me a very serious businessman here and I don't mean to embarrass you you don't have to come out but I'm seeing somebody from November I don't know what happened to your finances and the thing just plunged down I'm not talking it really went down this thing just went right now in fact it would take God for you to come back up I want you to know that this God we serve is a restorer and if you have the faith to believe then I speak over you and I declare this will not pass 40 days my God will arise and surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ Joseph 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 Joseph, you are in the choir. Joseph. Joseph. Is there a Joseph in the choir? Joseph. The Lord in this season, I don't know you all. What do you do? Well, I'm seeing you inside a shop and I'm seeing clothes like what I'm wearing. What does he do? You sell clothes. He's... Wait, don't shout. What do you do? That's what I'm saying. You are a what? You, oh you sew clothes that's what I'm saying I'm saying I'm seeing you inside a shop and I'm seeing clothes 
there are three prominent people in this city God is connecting you with to start making clothes for them. You write it down. You will see it happen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just three. Just three. You don't need many. Just three. They will bring you to their circle of influence. And God will surprise you. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Bimbo? I'm hearing the name Bimbo. 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 I think that should be a, 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 a Yoruba name also. Bimbo. Is there somebody with that name? I may not have all the time to speak, but... Mama, you are the one? You are Bimbo? Is that... What, what's wrong with her? Is that your daughter? This is your daughter. Now, what... What she's shouting about is what you are being healed right now from. Is... Is this is this her is this is she the one that came with this? Bring it. Mama, look at me. Please stand up. Stand up. Come. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Leave her, my dear. Leave her. In the name of Jesus, look at me. I speak over you. I stretch my hands and I cause infirmity. Now. Are you seeing that I'm praying for you? You see the person reacting? In the name of Jesus, I release you from this plague right now. Help her, help her, help her so she doesn't fall. In the name of Jesus, mama, life to your limbs, life to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at me, ma. Walk, go, 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 just go carefully. You don't have to rush. Look at me, mama. Lift your legs. Lift your legs gradually. Lift your legs. Look at what God is doing in HICC. Lift your legs. I'm about to pray. Just turn and walk back, Mama. Turn carefully. Walk back. Lift your legs. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the, the daughter? My dear. I don't know what it is. But look at me. I saw the Lord taking something. Out of you. And I cursed that devil now. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are sick in your body. Lay your hands now. I want to pray for you. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. I believe. Now, wherever you are, please listen carefully. I want you to lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. I'm about to pray for you right now. I want you to believe. I want you to believe. I'm about to pray for you. Now listen, we don't have all the time. We still have a session tomorrow. But I'm going to rebuke those outside, those by the roadside, the other canopies, and, and then, you know, outside and those connecting, you can connect by faith. As soon as I pray for you, the power of God is going to come upon you and you are going to be healed. The moment that happens, I'm going to give you a chance to check yourself and run out here. We may not take everybody but we need the records. You're going to run out here. We'll take a few testimonies and then we'll round up tonight's meeting. It's going to be a quick one. Listen, I want you to also stand for your loved ones. You can be here, but stand. The centurion stood in for his daughter and he said, you are a man under authority. I am a man under authority and I can tell one go and he will go. Are you ready now? We're going to pray. 
death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to agree with me. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm already praying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every devil of infirmity to leave your body right now I command every my God I command every devil of infirmity just help them to leave your body right now in the name of Jesus now I decree and declare be healed right now I, I sense that anointing is it's like fire it just goes down through your body and quickening you quickening you quickening you be healed right now in the name of Jesus every sickness represented in this place be healed now the Lord is healing pile I'm seeing the Lord heal someone of pile in the name of Jesus be perfected now be perfected now I'm seeing a severe chest condition. This this looks like um, um, um it looks like ulcer, but it's not just ulcer. Um, it, it looks like ulcers plus something else. The Lord is healing you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. All kinds of lumps and growths are living right now. Living right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone your hip it's like you have a problem with your hip in fact they've, they've tested you and this is something that is a very serious situation very severe pain around your hip here but I command be healed right now please in the name of Jesus Christ every deaf ear here whether partially or completely deaf I command that ear be open now in the name of Jesus Christ every blind eye i command to be healed now i declare be open now if there's anyone on a crutch or who came you brought anyone on a wheelchair right now in the name of jesus i release the power of god upon that person and i command that you begin to walk now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there is someone you cannot lie down on this side of the bed if you lie down like this this side the region of your heart you will wake up with severe pains in the morning the power of God is touching you now and you are being healed in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing hepatitis I'm seeing the name hepatitis be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus there is someone with an infection this 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 infection has lingered for a long time you will try to treat it treat it treat it but it doesn't seem to go right now the power of God is touching you right now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone I don't know what you have your molar there's severe pain severe pain as i pray for you now the power of god is touching you right now be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus you were born with a heart condition you cannot run or walk for a long time you have to stop because you'll be palpitating i declare be healed right now in the name of jesus now, uh, uh, this is not a healing issue but there is someone here things have been getting missing mysteriously in your life this thing started from September from money missing your documents your ID card things just begin to disappear mysteriously I command the devil behind that operation to let you go now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing I'm seeing someone the the right your right um, foot what they call that thing it looks like muzzle pool 
you can be walking and it will just hook you you have to stand otherwise the pain can be excruciating as i'm praying for you you're going to feel a cold sensation go through your leg and that will be the end of it be healed in the name of jesus the lord is also healing someone of lower back pain severe back pain severe back pain i declare be healed now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone you are washing you were washing and you bent down and you had a sound like a crack on your back from that day you've been having severe pains i declare be healed now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ your right leg usually is like it swells up more than the left leg this thing happens especially during rainy season you begin to see an increment in the right leg until you are treated i don't know who that person is but the lord is healing you right now in the name of jesus christ now whether i mention your case or not the power of god is touching people already be healed in the name of jesus 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 now this is what i want you to do very quickly we have just five minutes for this now you check yourself there are so many people some of you even when you fell under the anointing something happened to you i'd like you to rush pastor can can someone just show them just direct them now please those outside if they are coming in for the miracles then clear the way for them i just like you to quickly come line up here very quickly right now right here in the name of jesus are you celebrating jesus look what god is doing right now check yourself make your way to the front make your way to the front hicc is this the best you can do god is healing people here just confirm them and we'll take the testimonies right now jesus look what is happening just bring them out there are people outside the power of god is touching them already check yourself some of you may need to run to the restroom if you are coming come out quickly look at what god is doing supernatural miracles by the spirit check yourself check yourself check yourself there's someone you have pains just at the um what they call it now at the base of your feet check it stomp the feet and you find out that god has touched you jesus look at people coming from outside jesus worthy to be praised take it higher what's that at that song creator of the universe what can you do what can you do Miracles are happening in this place. What can you change, Jesus? Hallelujah. Please sit down. Are you ready, sir? Go ahead, quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. You can the just, first, okay, The quickly. first situation that was mentioned by, uh, by Apostle was Pearl. And she was just like, she had Pearl. And How long? Give her the mic. How long? Don't give her. Just, just let her quickly. My grandmom is currently sick because of Pearl. Your grandmom did what? She's currently sick. She's currently pile. sick and yes. is pile. Yes. Okay. My mom. Your I'm mom pile. pile. Then mine came on Sunday. And then yours came on and Sunday. Then I told my mom that it came to leave. The devil is a liar. Yes. It will not only leave you; it will leave all of them together. Amen. Give him the mic. Come quickly. Praise In God. In the name huh? of Jesus, never someone please come. Never returns to you again. In Jesus' name, quickly look at what God is doing. God is still healing Praise people God. right now. Yes, please. Please just turn and face. Since the camera is speaking, you yes. when they come. Yes, I quickly. Had, I had fibroid. Then I went to the yes. hospital. They said there was ovarian cyst. Ovarian cyst. And fibroid. When and you also, come up, please just talk as loud as you can. So we. Ovarian cyst, fibroid, and also kidney stone together. Just together. And what happened pain. tonight? And I can't feel any pain. In my it's gone completely. <laughs> ah. Hallelujah. Look Hallelujah. at the anointing of the Holy Ghost is still on her. Help her. Help her. Please. Maybe you may need one more person to help you. In the name of Jesus, it never returns. Quickly, please come. Let them come stand so that we can. Yes, quickly, quickly, please. 
I came Don't give them the mic. They usually will take I came time. Here Just with severe pain in my teeth. Severe pain in my teeth. Your teeth. My molars. For how long? It's been like months since like December, January. And what happened to you now? I can't feel. No pain. Hallelujah. It's gone. Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Completely gone. Come, sir. Can we have a gentleman? Let's have both male and female ushers. Come, come, come sir. Come, come. I want to pray for you. I will always seal it. Let's have both male and female ushers so that it makes it very easy. In the name of Jesus, never returns to you again. Next person. Sir, you just do your work. Just leave the ushers. Yes, please. Quickly. Um, as in my molars, they've been, as in I've been having severe pain for the past two months. And, and this leg, I had a childhood injury. When you were praying, I felt a cold on the leg. That is, I can't feel. Do what that you could do. Jump. Is, jump. Jump. For now, I'll be involved in basketball. That is the doctor said I shouldn't be involved in sport at all if I don't want the injury to increase. But I'm not feeling any pain. Even it's my gone teeth completely. is free. In the name of Jesus, never returns to you. It's gone forever. Yes, please, quickly. I've been having the molar pain in my teeth for the past four years. Four years. Oh my God. You couldn't go to work. What happened to you now? It's gone completely. Jesus, mighty God, never returns to you again in the name of Jesus. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly. Praise don't, don't hold the mic. You just stand close to it and he will direct you. Uh, before 21 on this program, I had the intention of starting. So I started praying and I started fasting. So the third day, I discovered I had a serious chest pain here. And it was very severe to the point I went to the back. So yesterday, it got very severe. Because once I wake up in the morning, I'm always feeling the pain every morning. And what happened to you now? When Pastor was talking about it, uh -huh. there's somebody here that has ulcer, deep ulcer. I, I discovered that the back pain went, but I wasn't really sure about the chest pain. So, and I could not lift up my hand. This is it. I could lift it. Lift it now. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ, not only is the Lord healing you, the Lord is restoring everything you have lost in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. I'm the man you talked about, uh, Osat pain. I've been having it for more than uh, 10 or 11 years. More than 10, 10 years? 10 years. And uh, about two nights ago, my wife... Oh, was... our mother. Oh, dear. Two oh, nights, dear. Two, two or three nights ago, I have to rush to the hospital because of that heart pain. Make sure you really measure the, the case. I felt something like an electric shock. And I fell on that day. An electric shock. Yeah. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Somebody help me celebrate this adorable mother. Look at this. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. This is your mother. Who is talking now? She's talking. Mommy, please talk. Go ahead. I, I, I came here with a walking stick because my leg for the past 12 months or more, I have sciatic nerve pain on my leg and I have not been able to walk well. But with my name being mentioned, just being mentioned by the pastor, I know that God is doing something in my life in the name of jesus christ you will spend your days in prosperity your years in pleasure we command perfection complete perfection in the name of jesus christ god bless you ma'am oh, you are together with her yes what do you do young lady huh fruit and juice step into a new level of the anointing by the spirit you will not only do fruit and juice you will be a great woman of god i release that grace upon you right now in the name of jesus christ that you will heal the sick you will teach the world with power in the name of jesus i speak this upon you and i decree and declare that you step into a new dimension in jesus name god bless you yes please Last week, Wednesday, in the morning, around 6 a.m., I was supposed to take my mom to the hospital. So I don't know what happened. I fell down. Hold my on. Kneecap shifted. There is somebody by the roadside. The overflow, just the few people scattered around the roadside. I want you to check yourself. 
there's something that used to hook you around the neck um sometimes it just it looks like you know the way you swallow bone check it now outside you will find out it's gone make your way and come yes go ahead yes my kneecap shifted i felt that it was your kneecap very shifted painful. yes and right now it's no longer run go turn back what can't you do jesus you're the name above every other name what can't you change what can't you change Jesus. why is mama crying talk to us please turn when you come just turn the camera so that um, my mom has always had swollen. her right leg has always been swollen like a charity for she, how long since i knew her she has always been taking her about it and now this baby now what happened she can't walk well. the leg shrunk it's, back it's, mommy run look at this look at this come on look at this ah what can't you do jesus you're the name above every other name what can't you change what can't you change jesus hallelujah mommy what happened to you when you're mentioning cases i was lost I cannot go here and go the same way. Let my case be mentioned. Have you not spoken about somebody that is having pain in the left leg? Have you not said somebody's right leg has been swollen? I just felt a touch. And I felt that I couldn't control myself. And I noticed the pain. Oh, oh look oh, at oh, this. Oh. Mighty God. You see, brothers and sisters, listen. Look at what is happening. In one man's obedience. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share it to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.